Oh, look at this mech suit. The Battle Bruiser. What is this? My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it's Friday. It's Friday, baby. It's five thrift store Friday. And we are starting off at Thrift Giant. Oh, thrifty pants. Gonna head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. And then we're gonna hit up Goodwill. We're gonna hit up Thrift City. We're gonna hit up another Thrift Giant and another Goodwill. So we're gonna hit up five. Count them. One, two, three, four, five thrift stores. So I'm excited. I hope we find some vintage today. I hope you're excited too. If you're ready to have some fun, comment below with the word, let's have some fun, Burf. All right, let's head in there. Keep our fingers crossed and pray that the thrift gods are good to me today. Whoa, check those out. They're like samurai swords. Samurai fool! Or something, that's pretty cool. A little out of my price range, but cool. All right, let's see what they got on the shelves. What's this thing? Oh, wow. That's one of those, uh, I had something like this that was Jurassic World, but this is like an older version of that. That's kind of cool. I might actually pick that up. That's very unique. Oh, check this out. Wow, look at that robot, man. He is all chromed out. That's pretty cool. Probably has a remote control, but I don't see it anywhere. Man, right next to him, we got this big beast. Yeah, that is cool too. Looks like he might have had some wings that attached right here that are broken off. And we've got another dino. He's cool too, I like his colors. Check out this uh, Fisher Price catapult. Whoa, <laughs> that's fun. Oh, and here is a box of cowboys and indians army men there's a camel a knight yeah it's just an assortment of toys in there there's an easy build international space station of the Caribbean Blu-ray disc set. What's that rocket car? That's interesting too. Hey, check it out. It's Buzz Lightyear and Mini Buzz. Yeah, again, no thrift store is complete without a Buzz Lightyear. These guys always show up in thrift stores. Check out this little wheelchair. Oh, this is kind of neat. Lumberjack's log set, 165 pieces, huh? Wow. It would actually go perfect to get this and then get that box of cowboys and Indians that we just saw earlier. Hey, this guy's from Toy Story too. I don't remember his name, but I do know he's from Toy Story. Ooh, check out this guy. Let's see. He's got a little button here in the back. So he's obviously battery operated kind of neat. All right, this Mosasaurus or Mosasaurus, whatever, however you pronounce it, um, they want $9 for this thing. I'm not paying nine bucks for this. This is crazy. I tried looking it up on eBay. I can't find this thing listed anywhere. So I don't even know the value of it, but I, all I know is that I ain't paying nine bucks for it. Now, if I looked it up and saw it was worth like a hundred, yeah, I would do that, but I'm not taking a gamble on it. For nine bucks could be valuable but i just can't bring myself to spend that kind of money so come on thrift giant do better yeah 2.99 3.99 i would have been all over it but not 8.99 all right up next goody will all right my friends we are here <laughs> oh yeah what you got for me today goody will what you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage. All right, fingers crossed. Goodwill gods be good to me today. Let's see what they got in here, boys and girls. Let's see what they got. All right, well, the shelves look stocked up at least. That's good. Let's see what they got in here. I got this Batman play set. Any 
anything down below. They got this Spider-Man vehicle, some sort of fashion boutique doll. And what's this guy? <laughs> He's missing an arm though. That sucks. Oh look, it's our boy Buzz. Another Buzz Lightyear. Got this recycling truck. And we got this guy right here. I actually have him in the box. Anything over here in plushy land? Hmm, look at that rabbit. <laughs> Psycho rabbit. And let's see, we got this Triceratops. Is he like a Jurassic World? No. Hug fun. Oh, he's got a rip in his arm too. Oh, look at this thing. That's crazy looking. Must be some sort of Halloween decoration. We've got a Hello Kitty. Oh, well, good morning. Like purse or something. That is really faded out. That looks like it could be old. That does light up. Hmm. The only thing, it's got a big crack here on the back of it. All right, so it does open up, but yeah, it is cracked pretty bad. I'm looking for a date on it. Well, it turns out it's only from 2012, but it's so sun faded. I mean, you can kind of see some of the original white right there. But yeah, 2012, it looks like it's from like 1975. <laughs> Busted at the Goody Wheel. All right, up next, Thrift City, baby. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head into old Thrift City, or as my friend Keith says, Thrift Shitty. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. We're gonna pray that the Thrift Gods are good to me today. And hopefully, we'll score something epic, man. I feel like it's been dry, you know? I feel like I my thrift store toy hunt videos have not been as good as they once were because there's just not a lot on the shelves lately so let's see what they got all right well let's check out these bags first let's see if we can find any goodies in them nothing there okay, what the heck is that it's like a cow it's weird looking looks like a bag of matchbox or hot wheels and what's this? Looks like there's some micro machines in there. I think that's what those are, those little tiny cars. I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything else though. There's a bag of safari animals and dinosaurs. Oh, there's a little land speeder and a helicopter. There's an action figure right there. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. Beast man, that's cool. All right, we definitely have to get that. There's a turtle, but looks like he's missing some limbs or something. But yeah, we got to pick that up. Is he is he intact? Oh yeah, he's got both feet, both arms, both hands. All right, that's a sweet little score. Let's check some of these other bags just in case there's some other masters of the universe in them. I'm not seeing anything though. All right, now let's see what we can find on the shelves here. What's this back here? Oh, nothing. Oh, check out this tank. That is pretty cool. I like the artwork on it. Man, that cannon is gnawed up like somebody's dog got at it. Speaking of tanks, here's another tank. This one actually had missiles that fired out of it. Probably remote control it's missing its tracks don't need it but it's pretty cool oh look at this it's another tank this is like that one keith got that time but this one is missing its cannon which sucks i was checking to see if there was like a year on it but i'm not seeing anything too bad it didn't have the cannon i'd get it oh look at this mech suit the Battle Bruiser. What is this? Might have to look that up and see if that's worth something. That's kind of neat, man. I dig that. Dang it, I just broke it. It sucks. So they want $5.99 for it. I can definitely glue this down. 
and just keep it like, you know, as a display. It's kind of cool. I really dig it. I think it might be vintage, like maybe from the 80s, possibly the 90s, but I can't find any markings on it. I don't know who made it. I don't know what year it was made. It just, it just has that older look to it, you know? Oh, I'd hate to pass it up and it'd actually be something cool. I might just get it, take a, take a chance on it. Look what I just discovered on it. It's got all these different sounds. I think I gotta get it. <laughs> it's, it's cool. All right, let's see what else do we got down here. We've got that minesweeper. Here is, what is that thing? All right, let's take a little closer look at this. And yeah, it's some sort of military vehicle, some sort of like early tank maybe. It's got sound, but the batteries aren't working. Target 2009, hmm. Oh, and check this out right next to this Power Ranger vehicle. It's missing the canopy though. Wonder if it's uh wonder if that canopy's on the shelf here somewhere. I might look around, see if I can find it. Oh yeah, look at this Batman. I actually have this, believe it or not. This is some sort of piece to a playset. And in the very back here, we've got an X-Wing pilot and his X-Wing fighter. And here's another piece to a place. I don't know what that goes to. Oh, what is this? Is this like the bat cave or something? Oh uh, yeah, it looks like there's like a bat. Oh uh, yeah, it's a piece to the bat cave. I wonder, does this go with this maybe? Kind of looks like it does. It's got controls. Yeah, check it out. It just snapped right on top there. So that goes together. And I'm not sure, but this might go with this. I'm not 100% on that. Oh, let's see. Killer Croc, the Joker. Yeah, that almost looks like it would go up here as well, right? Oh, yeah. Look, that fits up there just like that. And this is the back side of it. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. So what is this, then? Is this like a, ga like a gas pump? <laughs> All right, check that out. So that actually snaps down there on the bottom. All right, so that's the back side of it. And then the Batmobile would go down here. So that probably is some sort of gas pump. And then, uh, I don't know what this button does. I don't know if it takes batteries. It's interesting. All right, well, that was a little work. <laughs> but we got it all put together. And I'm gonna leave it on the shelf. I'm not gonna take it. I think it's kind of cool, but we'll leave it for someone else. But now, if someone else is out thrifting, they'll find a entire playset put together instead of laying around in pieces. This thing would probably have never sold being in pieces the way it was. But now, this might be appealing to somebody. So I did my good my good deed for the day. All right, guys. Let's see what else they got. I was kind of hoping to find the canopy for this thing because this is from 1999. But I was kind of looking here on the shelf and I don't really see it. Oh, look what we got down here. We got ourselves a green T-Rex. All right, I'm gonna pick this guy up because these dinosaurs flip pretty quick on Facebook Marketplace. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Thank God I looked. He's missing a foot. All right, guy, back on the shelf you go. Every day I'm shuffling. I don't know what this gun is exactly, but there's two of them. There's that one, and then there's this one over here. They look kind of neat. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, we got anything in here. No, I'm not seeing anything. And of course, that's still here. And of course, that dinosaur playset is still here because they want $50 for it. Check out that Ford Fairlane Crown Victoria. Man, that thing is pretty sweet. They want 
like 20 bucks for that, but man, that is pretty awesome. Oh, check it out. You can even look under the hood. Lots of trunk space. That is a pretty cool Hello Kitty refrigerator. Oh, yeah, check that out. 50 bucks though for that. That's a little out of my price range. All right, guys. Well, we got a couple of scores out of there. We're gonna head back to the house here in just a little bit, do some show and tell, because I need to fix that mech up. So I need to get them glued together. I did get the mech. Too bad I couldn't find the canopy to the Power Rangers uh, airship. The vehicle is uh, some sort of Megazord. Um, rescue speeder or something like that anyway all right up next we're heading off to old thrifty pants to see what kind of goodies they got all right my friends we are here old thrifty pants all right we're gonna keep our fingers crossed we're gonna pray that the thrift gods are good to me today and uh hopefully we can find something cool so let me just here's a question for you comment below when you go out thrifting I know a lot of you are like toy collectors and toy hunters like myself but when you go thrifting what do you typically thrift for what are you looking for on the shelves anything like anything niche specific I'm curious so leave a comment let me know let's check this out all right let's see what do we got look look who it is old buzzy boy what else do we got? Anything else on the shelves? Looks like we got a crocodile or an alligator. Some sort of Nerf gun. That's pretty bulky. And what do we got here? We got one of these big boxes. Let's see. Any goodies in there? Looks like we got a lot of Lincoln Logs. Might have to rummage through this a little bit. I'm not really seeing anything though. Just a lot of like matchbox cars and whatnot. I don't really see any action figures. Yeah, just a lot of Lincoln logs and cars. Well, it looks like we've got some other big boxes over here. Anything in this one? Is that, oh, you know what? Is that Masters of the Universe? No, that's core. <laughs> For a second, I thought that might have been something vintage He-Man. Oh look, it's Mini Buzz. Man, we saw a lot of him today, didn't we? There's a 3PO. And it looks like some other Star Wars figures still in the packaging. Holy crap, there's another Buzz Lightyear. Jeez, man, that guy's everywhere today. Oh, look at this little green army man guy. Oh, this thing's kind of neat. What is that? That is cool. Okay, and when I come back, I'll give you my hooty hoot. Good. A uh, hooty hoot? You know, hooty hoot, hooty hoot. Yeah, I was just kind of looking at this thing and I can't find it listed on eBay anywhere, but I'm just thinking how cool that would look in my bunker, you know? I think they want, uh, yeah, $6.99 for it. Doesn't seem like a bad price, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this. I wish I had more details or information like on who made it, but I just, I can't pass it up. It's very, very cool and very patriotic, you know? Love me some patriotism. All right, let's grab this guy. All right, guys. Well, we scored our military guy. Now let's head off to Goody Will and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here at the Goody Will. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> All right, we're gonna head in here. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. We're gonna pray that the vintage Goodwill gods are good to me today. And whenever we finish up, we'll head back to the house and do a little show and tell. So I'll see you inside. I decided to check out this glass case first. They got a bunch of Skylanders here, but they want $39.99 for them. Too much. And I don't really see anything else. All right, well, let's see what we got. What do we have? We've got Darth Vader. We've got like this lollipop 
Pez dispenser stuff from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Those are kind of cool. I'll check out this dude. Yeah, he's kind of neat. He's made out of rubber too. <laughs> Wreck it, Ralph. I actually have this at the house, believe it or not. It's like it's looking into my soul. Oh, check out this BB-8 playset. Very cool. Hey, check out these plushies. They're made by a company called Gans. And uh, they're kind of neat. There's quite a few of them here too. What's this, like a pig? Yeah, hey, it's Gigi. <laughs> and then uh, we got this guy here. Hey, check out this uh, BB-8 playset. One of my subscribers that lives locally, his name is Salvador. What's up, Sal? Uh, he actually purchased this from me not too long ago, uh, back around Christmas time. It's a neat little playset. And what do we got here? We got Wonder Woman headdress and armband. All right, guys, busted. All right, well, let's head back to the house and check out the tiny little haul, the tiny, tiny little haul that I got today. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys, we're back here at the bunker. And you know, the funny thing is actually that video you just watched leading up to this point, I filmed it like over two months ago and I'm just now getting to the point where I'm doing the show and tell portion of it. So it's like already the end of June and I filmed that thing like, I don't know, back in April or something like that. So anyway, let me show you what I picked up that day. All right, y'all, this was the haul from that day. So check out this bust of this soldier. It is absolutely amazing. I just freaking love it. It's been on display here in the bunker for over a couple months now, like I said. I mean, check out those binoculars. I've got this metal down here. And of course, Old Glory, representing the greatest nation in the world. Man, I love this and uh, it has looked amazing here in the bunker. I see it every day and it just reminds me of the freedoms that we still have in this country and why we need to keep those freedoms sacred and hold on to them and never give them up. There are people that fought and died for us to have those freedoms and it's up to us to keep them. So we got this and then, oh man, this thing is so freaking awesome. And check it out. There is Steadfast from Final Faction. How cool is that, man? Oh, it just, it works perfect for him. This thing actually makes noise. It'd be cool if the arms and legs still moved, but it doesn't. Oh yeah, did you hear those missiles? See, let's do another one. And then we'll do this final button. I am Battle Bruiser is what it says. So uh, it is like, you know, it's missing some pieces and stuff like that, but man, just, I mean, just being on display here. I mean, just look how cool that is, you know? Man, I freaking love this thing and uh, it's a great added addition to my collection, man. And you know, the thing is like, I, I ought to start like a Facebook page or something like that for like, you know, m like misfit toys or broken toys or something like that, because I buy a lot of stuff that is incomplete, but man, it still looks amazing on display, even though it doesn't have all its pieces, man. It just adds to the character of it, you know? So anyway, and of course I ended up with Beast Man who actually makes the perfect ogre for my Fisher Price vintage Fisher Price castle playset. So yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, super loose though, like, like, He's like super loose, like he won't stand on his own or anything. So I have to have him sitting here just like this. 
I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button. That really helps me out. It really does. As I've said before, when YouTube sees that you like my stuff, they tend to show my stuff to more people just like you. People that love toy hunts, toy collecting, vintage toys, retro toys, all the good stuff. And that helps my channel grow. So I put a lot of time and energy into creating content for you guys. So if you could just do a simple little task of just smashing that like button, that would help me out tremendously. So also check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it.